<laughs> what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel I know I know I said that we're probably not gonna see the EJ here on the channel uh, once more because we finished the build and it's supposed to be picked up today um, actually the homies coming here in about an hour but because we unboxed a package from Bull Boost performance yesterday we received this billet clutch master slash brake master fluid reservoir and uh, really the only chassis that can use it is the EJ so I want to try to install this into the car today before he picks it up, probably have him give me a hand with this as well too in case we need to bleed the brake system, which I don't think we need to, but um, I wanna put it on the car because I think it'll tie the engine bay in really nicely and also when the car takes off, I don't really have any news for this. So I wanna give a big shout out to Bull Boost Performance for saying this over surprisingly and uh, you know what I'm saying, like this is a really nice piece. It's not that big at all and it's definitely nice to have that option for the clutch reservoir because you can eliminate it off the driver's side tower to make it look cleaner. So I don't think we're actually gonna do that today because we don't have a uh, brake fluid rated hose to go from the clutch master to this reservoir. The current one that's on there now, the OEM one is way too short Short, so we're probably just gonna leave the reservoir there and block this off if you guys are a fan of billet or you want your engine bay to look a lot cleaner be sure and use the link in the description below check out boo boo's website and use discount code to save 10% off to cop yourself one of this the laundry is running in the background so I apologize for the noise it is laundry day and normally today I don't really work on cars but why not so they do provide the hardware here for the block off and if you are going to be running the hose for the clutch reservoir uh, they do have a fitting for that as well too so i don't know if teflon is uh, brake fluid compatible but uh we're just going to teflon this i do have a different one here best sealing tape heavy duty uh no other description where the typical white one here uh, doesn't really say anything either. PTFE thread seal. PTFE. Okay, well, I mean, PTFE. So you want to go the opposite direction. So that way, when you thread it in, it's not going to peel itself back. I'm probably just going to go two loops. a 5-0 all right we are flushed in there so before I get into the car to take off the brake master reservoir I want to do it on this old unit here to make sure I know how it's supposed to be installed so I'm gonna go ahead and pop the screw off right here in the middle this should just pop off i'm assuming okay pretty pretty straightforward got a little grommet right here i guess that's supposed to come off as well too because the kit does come with its own right here so i'm gonna go ahead and pop this other one off okay well didn't seem too bad as long as we have fluid still in here i don't think we need to like fully bleed the brake system after the install new grommet here which actually is smaller and specific to the billet unit, right? I'm not gonna put it all the way on, but I will tell you that I can feel that it's snug. So if I shove it all the way down, it's gonna be a nice tight seal. And we have two of those, but it seems like it's pretty straightforward. Okay, that goes on like that, okay. And I wanna make this quick too, cause I don't wanna make a mess in the engine bay. So without the grommet, I want to make sure the reservoir does go all the way down and line up to the mounting tabs. It looks like it does. So I'm not going to go on here fully because just wanted to get an understanding how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back together and then we'll, we'll go ahead and stick our head underneath the hood to take off the one that's on the car. Every time I assemble this vacuum pump, I feel like one of those scenes in a movie where a sniper is setting up, opens up his suitcase and assembles the sniper rifle. Cause I feel like that's that's what I'm doing here. So go ahead and uh, get this all set up so we can pump the fluid out of the reservoir. All right, ready to shoot or pump. I do have a green rag down low right here just so we can catch any fluid that uh, would drip down low. 
got this nice spoon reservoir cover we're probably gonna have to eliminate the wiring right here because the billet unit does not have these prongs all this does is indicate that you're low on fluid but i don't ever really run it go ahead and pump out as much as i can in here Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pop off this little strainer so we can go further down. We have the fluid almost completely out. I can kind of see it like where the grommet sits. And now we're gonna go ahead and just remove the screw in the center. This one is just a Phillips. The OE unit is a Phillips slash 10 millimeter. Okay, well, before I even take it off, this is a different thread pitch than the provided hardware. One's a 10, one's an eight. Now I gotta make sure this fits on here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, that does not fit. Uh, I think the only way for me to make this fit since this is not an OEM unit is to enlarge this hole to fit the shoulder bolt. Just a little bit. Does not fit. And once I enlarge in the hole, it should go out enough to thread into the aftermarket brake master. Now, if you're running an OEM unit, this should fit because I just shown you guys that. On my digital caliper, this shoulder bolt was like 5.8 millimeters. So, got it all drilled out. Screw goes all the way through. Just gonna go ahead and get this one set up. What's dripping is the reservoir. Pop that out of there. Drop that down low. Get this new one on. Nice and snug. Damn, that looks good. Oh, I like it. I'll go ahead and put this retaining screw back on. Look at that, pretty secured. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some brake cleaner, clean all that guy up, uh, clean down there a little bit, and then we'll fill the reservoir back up. Don't worry guys, I made sure this cup was clean. So because this is billet and you can't see the fluid through the body, they do have a little indicator right here on the uh, the cap. So we can fill it up just a little bit more. You know what? This is about the same capacity as the plastic unit, but it looks a lot better. Got the Bull Boost logo right here on the top. Bada bing, bada boom. Damn, look at that billet unit right there. I think it's looking fresh. Now imagine if this was gone too. Just a hose to go from the clutch master to the side right there, tucked away. This right here will look a lot cleaner. I mean, Really not a big deal, but I mean, it would be cleaner if it was gone, right? I am gonna still retain this right here. Uh, typically, this is like news for, if you had like any type of slow leak or whatever the case may be, it doesn't drizzle down and tear your paint over time. This right here, probably soak it up, or it's just for looks. For me, it's just for looks, cause I have spoon wheels and I do have this in the wagon as well too. Plus, I hand wash this, so we're gonna rock it.
over time this thing is going to conform to the shape of the billet reservoir <laughs> it looks good though i like it so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to shave down the rhino line on the areas that has a ground because we are having some weird lighting issues so this one right here i'm gonna have to like get it to bear same thing for the ground um battery terminal post i gotta get that to ground um the thing is what the car is doing is when i put the battery on i'm gonna see if i do it right now or actually no i mentioned this in the last video once i put the battery on this light illuminates and the brake light also illuminates and uh, on this side, the driver's side, everything works like it should. And then last night, tinkering with it back and forth, back and forth, it turned off on its own. The lights stopped illuminating over there. All the lights work like they're supposed to. But um, once I finished up yesterday, it started illuminating again. So I would have to disconnect the battery just to not kill the battery with this light staying on. So I'm going to go ahead and hit it with my belt sander because I don't have anything to get in between that small little crevice without tearing up the other paint. So... Battery's on and light is not on. So hopefully, hopefully that's a fix. So when the car is warming up, it is dying on its own. So I got to figure out what's going on with that. It did puff up a little bit of smoke. So I got to double check this before it goes. Reaction. Yeah, you said hell of a 
<laughs> that that was uh i don't know that gsr just wasn't spinning them big old 225s but you know what i'm saying lsd for the window right b16 tracks don't lie this is our quick little uh 200 foot test test zone <laughs> our little launch pad but what do you think man what do you think three years three years it's three years here. i heard that little pull you did over there yeah yeah I yep. myself, <laughs> yeah i feel it man when you when you're out of the sea for three years and you finally get your swap up and going man your temptations in the foot how does the brakes feel oh they feel good they feel good yeah damn okay you know what i'm saying at the end of the day guys um car is all said and done and uh just sorry <laughs> Yo, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring the car up on the driveway backwards so he can load up all of his stuff into the trunk because all this stuff is gonna be taking it with him and car is just practically ready to go home. Sun in the back too. Let's go. It sounds good. Drive safe. It's not that loud. That Yanaka exhaust. Full three inch ultra quiet resonator. B series. Thank you, Bernie and Reina, for the Ike's, Mike's, Mike's, Ike's, Ike's sandwich. I've only had this once in my life, and uh, probably going to chow down on that, guys. Um, so I think we're going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Um, I'm very happy to be able to work on Bernie's car. Just had a long talk with uh, him and his wife and um, how stoked they are about having the car finally running after sitting for three years. And it kind of just, like, gave me a little backstory on, like, them two going on ventures finding parts and everything like that they had a vision for everything that they bought and um you know and I'm, I'm i'm blessed to be able to build this car for them he told me he was like i don't trust anybody else but you the smile on bernie's face and his wife and his kid was worth it it was worth the entire uh process to building this car for him and um i'm stoked that bernie is back in his whip and you know He's got that fuel now. He's got that motivation he told me to now wanting to do more now that the car is up and going. So anyways, guys, uh, once more with this video, I want to give a big shout out to Bull Boost Performance for sending over that billet uh, clutch master slash brake master reservoir. Looks freaking awesome. It actually still looks pretty good with the spoon uh, reservoir cover on it. And uh, I did keep the old reservoir just in case for whatever reason, but um, I don't think we're going to have any issue with that billet unit. If you guys are interested in something like that uh, for the CRV, the Prelude, the Accords, the EK with that style um, brake master cylinder, 
Use the link in the description below, man. Check it out. Use discount code if you're going to purchase anything to save 10% off your order. I do have a few more Bull Boost items that we're going to be using in the next couple of videos. So we'll talk more about that as we get to it. But uh, before we wrap this video out, at the beginning of this build series, you guys probably saw that I sold my green CRX that sat right there. I sold it to a buddy of mine and uh, he wanted to buy the car to pop the engine out of it to stick it into his EF hatch. And uh, I shit you not, when he bought the car for me, literally the next day, he yanked the whole entire motor out of his car to put into his hatch and literally got the CRX running again with a single cam. He took the B out of it, put a C on cam in it, and he put the B into his hatch to prep for Sonoma race day. If you guys are in my neck of the woods, you guys know Sonoma has a really nice complex circuit track. Same track that I put my KRX on and pop my K20, but he got his car done in the nick of time, and he just tracked it yesterday. The VTEC was screaming. I'm going to tell you guys, he is a driver, a very aggressive driver. So he was definitely putting the LSV tech that I assembled here in the garage to good use. And uh, man, this guy was driving it like no tomorrow. So um, we're going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you enjoy the billet reservoir installation slash my buddy's reaction to his EK Coop now finally running. If you guys did, be sure to leave a thumbs up. And uh, if you guys want to stick around for uh, EF Sedan progress updates, because I'm going to be moving it to the driver right now so we can get started on it tomorrow, uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the clip at the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.